Hi everyone, Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I want to talk about how do trolls operate? You know, this weirdness is what I call it, this weirdness that's been going on now since March 2020. I've long said that it's bringing out the true colours of those around us and within us, okay? What's happening is how does this bringing out our true colours work is because we're all being put into situations where who we truly are is coming out. So what's happening is so many people now are losing their jobs. Pick an industry, everyone's losing their jobs. So these people are getting scared. They're vulnerable because they've lost their security whether it's the money they made doing that job, whether it's the position that they had their title, whether it's the perks of that job, they may have had a company car, company phone, company computer. So they've lost all those entitlements through that job description of being title. So they're scared and they're vulnerable. Is that a reason why we should be now judging and accusing them? Absolutely not. Everybody has free will. Everybody has the active decision whether they do something or not. Okay? The government is trying to put so much pressure on people to have it or not to have something, if you know what I mean. So people are losing their control. They don't feel their self-worth. They don't feel their self-value. And most importantly, they don't feel that their self-love is important anymore. So they don't feel special. They don't feel treasured or loved. Okay? So when we look at judging and accusations, especially with trolls, because I'll get to trolls, we've got to remember that everybody has their own free will. Everybody can do what they want, yeah? Okay? So what I've noticed in the last three, six months, is there's now not only are people attacking each other, road rage, verbally abusing someone in the shopping centre, but a lot of people now are venting their anger on social media. People are so angry with their own situation that they have to vent it out and try to pull other people down into that same energy. Now, I've said a long, long time ago, like attracts like. If we go start from low vibrations going up to higher vibrations, wherever we operate at, we attract the same energy, the same frequency. So they attach and they can connect. But when someone's at a high vibration and someone's at a low vibration, they don't even get together at all. So that's what we're seeing now. With all these people that are angry, they, they want to blame somebody else for what they're going through. They're hurting. They're confused. They feel invulnerable, insecure. So they attack. They annihilate. And they character assassinate people. Because when they're operating at low vibrations... Their characteristics, their personality, make them do the same like behaviours. And that's what we're seeing now. So <clears throat> on social media, trolls who can stay anonymous, they will put on negative feedback, negative comments, thumbs down on comments, etc. Because they're operating at lower frequencies. Okay? <clears throat> so uh, what I have noticed is that as so many people now losing their jobs, they feel that they're deserving. They feel that they need some sort of reward for all that time and effort that they put into their jobs. You know, um, someone might say, I worked in that company for 30 years and I didn't even get a pen. I didn't want to, I wanted to stay there for another 20 years, but because I didn't get whatever it was that they wanted me to have, I now am unemployed because of my free will 
to decide what I put into my own body, right? <clears throat> so they feel angry because they wanted a party. They wanted that afternoon tea or they wanted that pat on the back from their co-workers. Good job for doing 30 years. And it never came. That is happening so much now because we set ourselves up where we sabotage ourselves because we expect something for what we do. And it never works out because expectations are down here. So when we expect things, like attracts like and it never works out. Okay, so <clears throat> I've long said it was in my book, Heal to Success. The only person that we can look after is ourselves. The only person that we have expectations with is ourselves. The only person that we can feel deserving, the only person that can make us feel appreciative, the only person that we can make ourselves respected and loved is within ourselves. Because once we create that within ourselves, it amplifies and magnifies out. And it spreads and attracts other like emotions. So then we're bringing in all this goodness from others as well. Okay? So when trolls attack, what they're demonstrating, because it is a demonstration, because they will be called out on it and they will expose themselves. And that's the best thing about social media, because you know who it is. So when they're doing that, it's actually showing who their true self is. So when you've got a troll, someone might say, oh, Linda, you're Dr. Linda Kramer. Pfft, you're not a doctor. You've never operated on somebody. I actually never have, because I don't have a doctorate in medicine. My doctorate is in philosophy. So I do have a doctor before my name. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay? I don't classify myself ever as working in health. I was a first aid trainer for a few years. Um, but we don't look at our job title as who we are. We look at who we are that gives us that importance. Who we are on the inside is all that matters. And these trolls out there now, the ones negating others, harassing, attacking, all they are doing is showing their negativity. All that they are doing is showing their world of hurt within themselves. You know, I was researching this video this morning and I actually found a quote that my friend gave me about three years ago when I was writing Heal to Success and I never put it in Heal to Success for some reason. So I'm going to read it out to you now <clears throat> and it says, don't allow other people's crap that they are not dealing with to dim your light. I'm going to repeat it. So it sticks to us, all right? Hey? Okay. Don't allow other people's crap that they aren't dealing with to dim your light. How beautiful is that? Because <clears throat> like attracts like. Someone negative will attract in someone else negative, and it sticks. But when a troll comments on my posts or they leave negative feedback on YouTube or whatever they're trying to do because it is only a try because it doesn't succeed. The reason why it doesn't succeed is because my energy is up here. I'm not saying it's all the way at the top because I'm never going to judge my own frequency but my energy is higher than theirs so it doesn't stick. You know you look at the old adage that says um, shit hitting the fan. The only reason why SHIT sticks to a fan is because the fan allowed it. Think about it. So if you do have all this stuff going on in your own life 
are you allowing it to attach to you because you're at that same frequency because if all this nasty stuff's going on and you're up here it can't stick okay so trolls <clears throat> make a big mistake because sometimes they'll even put your name in their comments oh my god defamation suit coming your way because you've got to be careful yeah social media is an open platform and people do use social media in lawsuits every day so all that does is exposes the true intentions and the true self of that person so don't allow trolls or people who are naysayers people putting you down don't allow them to interfere with who you are which brings me to another quote don't allow other people's opinions diminish your own self-worth what a great one that one is i'm going to say that one again don't allow other people's opinions to diminish your own self-worth because what's happening now in this weirdness since march 2020 we're all looking at other people to tell us what to do we're de we're denying ourselves the right to freedom and free choice so we're now relying on others to look after us yeah it's true and in that we're also now relying on our friends family co-workers neighbors whoever else that we interact with in the society we're relying on their opinions to affect who and what we are because everyone's losing their self-worth everyone's losing their self-love and most of all people now don't value themselves and that's what's happening now with trolls because they're so angry they're so angry of what life has thrown at them where they feel entitled or privileged is the word they feel privileged i deserve this because i did that that's an expectation which is so negative down here and it only attracts in other negative behaviors okay so how do we get out of this first of all identify within yourself if you're actually doing it and i hope you're not one reason why you're watching this video is because you're trying to get out of all those bad bad behaviors right negativity yeah so we look at ourselves first because that's the only person that matters because once we cure or heal ourselves of all that negativity and remember here negativity does not live in heaven negative people don't go to heaven they've got to go through that life review and heal it all before they get there every time they criticize someone every time they put someone down every time they accused judged or abused someone they have to face their own actions and it's tenfold before you go into heaven so i try now because of my own near-death experience i try to educate people heal all those grudges now so it's not bad when you go through your life review and you've also got to remember here guys there is a hell and it's bad and i firmly believe that hell is a perception of our own negativity the more negative we have within us like grudges regrets the more chance you'll have of having a bad experience when you pass over because that's the only thing that is inevitable here it's inevitable that we all die so that's why i'm here i'm trying to teach people don't be negative don't be that troll because 
they're only building that big, black, dense thickness of negativity, that big bubble of blah, and it does expand and it does attract to others who are also on those lower vibrations, yeah? <clears throat> Pardon me. So what's happening now since May 2020 with all this weirdness? People are now judging and accusing others. We blame others for what we have ourselves created. So there's another quote. We blame others for what we ourselves have created. Now, I have met some lovely people over the years, which I'm going to show you some fan mail I've been receiving. Because I teach gratitude, appreciation, respect and love. But when we're negative to others, we're only hurting ourselves. Because our self always comes first. Always. Always comes first. And you've got to remember here, guys, trolls will always be exposed. Always. <clears throat> Someone doing negative behaviours. Now, let's just say, I don't know, someone puts a bad comment about you on Facebook or Twitter, okay? Imagine that person going to work every day. Do you think they were liked? Do you think that they got on with other staff? Do you think people went home thinking, oh, wow, I can't wait to see that guy tomorrow? <sighs> because once we show our true colours, everybody sees it, okay? Everyone sees the troll. Everyone sees the abuser. Everyone sees, ultimately, the true colours of everybody. So today I want to give you some ideas on how to change, if you want to, through, through, through free will. If you want to change and raise your vibrations even higher, how do we do it? Don't have expectations. Don't expect a reward for doing something good. Don't judge anybody else for who or what they do. Just allow them to be who they are. Third one, don't try and control a situation. Don't try and control it because that's having expectations. So just allow others to be who they are and accept them unconditionally which is what heaven is all about. <clears throat> because the more we allow someone, even if you think, oh my God, what an idiot. I don't ever want to do that. You're identifying who you don't want to be, so it's now turning it into a positive. Thank goodness that guy showed me what an idiot he was because now I'm realizing just how special I truly am. So that's how we build our self-worth. Thank goodness I saw that other person trolling my page because I know I don't do that. I don't want to be that person because my energy's up here. See the examples? So we can incorporate this into our own lives. So what do we do when trolls attack us? One, just remember, they are triggered. They are hurting. They're blaming you for what you're doing. Does that make sense? Because it does. People blame other people for what's happening in their own lives. That's interesting. That's my phone. Sorry, I forgot to mute it. <clears throat> As you know, my phone rings all day, every day. Okay, so don't allow, um, I mean, sorry, don't have expectations with people. Don't say, oh my God, I'm this great person. I expect everybody else to be great too because expectations are negative and they pull you down. Okay, So just allow people to be who they are. Because if someone is out there professing that, you know, we had a doctor, he's in jail now, Dr. Patel. He worked at the Bundaberg Hospital. Um, he didn't have a qualification in health. So he's now in jail. Because he got caught out. So if people are false, if people are fake, they will get caught out. And that's what trolls ultimately are doing. 
they're getting caught out. They're exposing themselves for being that big black blob of negativity that they actually are. Their true colours are coming out. So, how do we turn it into a positive? Ignore them. Because, like a fan, you know, you say, S-H-I-T hits the fan. The only reason why it hits the fan is because the fan allows it. Because all that negativity, if you're up here, it can't stick. So it just goes away. So do I get triggered by negative feedback? If it's something I can work on, I turn it into a positive and say, wow, okay, yes, I didn't realize I was doing that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for so much for giving me the opportunity to be a better person. But when it's negative abuse, negative attacks that are false, all they're doing is mirroring the same behaviors that they are. My phone, okay? So, just remember here, we all mirror our true self. So trolls, when they're blaming somebody else and attacking, feel compassion for them. Just sit there and you say, oh my God, how much hurt and pain is this person going through? How much are they feeling like they deserve so much for time and effort that they've put in? How much tight entitlement do they think that they are rewarded for that they never got that reward so you can feel sorry for them because through that being sorry we show compassion and you say my god i hope and pray that you learn from this experience how to be a better person i hope and pray that you learn you don't have to be negative when something bad happens to us because every bad situation is an opportunity to make ourselves better okay everything that happens to us that's bad is actually realigning us on our life path and putting us into new opportunities where we can learn our life lessons So, words like being humbled, we don't have to attack back because that's a knee-jerk reaction. We don't have to react with their actions because that's just negative attracting more negativity. So when trolls attack you, send them love, send them light, send them hope and trust that their life could get better because that's true compassion. And it's understanding. And most of all, it's showing them respect that they are worthy to be better people themselves. Okay? Show generosity to them. Now, oh, speaking about generosity, I will go there. Funny thing, <clears throat> over about the last 12 months, I now receive fan mail. It's amazing. In my dining room, I've got a big window and it's got louvers, which are horrible to clean. But now I'd be grateful for those louvers, even though I hate cleaning them, because, you know, you've got to wipe each individual louver. But I'm so grateful that I've got that because now I've got about 20, 25 thank you cards that people send me in the mail. So I've put the cards over the louvers. So when I sit at my dining room table, I can see all the montage of my thank you cards. I've re I receive books in the mail. So I've, I now get books. There's one by Becky Hawkins. Becky Hawkins. Mwah! I didn't ask her for this book. This is her book that she wrote about near-death experiences that she sent me. And here's another book. This guy sent me this one because, hello, um, it's by Michael Rhodes, but he said <clears throat> in his card, he said, oh, my God, Linda, you need a publisher. And this book was published by Linda and Hal Kramer. Your name's Linda Kramer. So why don't you go through this publisher? 
So he sent me the book. So I received books. I received this from a lovely lady. I'm going to show you some presents that I get. This is her. It's called Divine Expressions. And she's on Etsy. So it's Divine Expression. She was she was telling me that she went into a um, antique shop and she found 600 BC amulet moulds in Egypt. So the moulds came. So here's a picture of the moulds. So she took them home, put clay into them, and now she makes these beautiful amulets. And so they've made from 600 BC moulds. So... She said, oh, do you want some? And I went, oh, yeah, okay. So she sent me a red one, a cartouche. So this is um, authentic 600 BC mould. Oh, my God. And then there's a little story inside about what it is. So she sent me all these amulets. So this is from Debbie Holmes. Now, she lives in... Um, America, Debbie, I'm sorry, I forgot what state you're in, but she's in America. And she sent me all these beautiful amulets with the cartouches. Oh, Tashi took one. Because Tash, I've actually given away some for free to people too that I, I know. Because they're gorgeous amulets. <clears throat> so this is a little brochure that she's got with it. So how amazing is it that she wanted to give me some of her amulets that she makes? On my lounge room wall, I've got this huge acrylic painting that this lady sent me in the mail. I got a, I went up to the post office box and there's a little thing that says, you've got a parcel. So I went into my post office box and the parcel, it's, it's three foot long. It's three foot wide and about two foot. So it's this huge acrylic painting. It's now on the wall in my lounge room. This one came the other day. So, look, you can see my, there's my post office box. She sent me a card, so that's one of my cards now in my dining room. She sent me chocolate. Hello, I've still got a block here, but there's chocolate. She sent me chocolate. Mwah, I never say no to chocolate. Um, she also makes all these hand-painted prints. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous prints. So she sent me seven of those, so I'm going to laminate these and put them in my dining room. Beautiful artworks. Beautiful artwork. So the other thing that's in here as well is something I'm going to use. So I'm going to return this favour. Remember the words return this favour? It's returning the gratitude to the universe. So what she's made, now here's her card, it's Ana, Anahata Creations. So I'll put that up if you do want to go there. Write that down. She's in Darwin, this lady. She makes her own cards, prints and tarot cards. So look at the beautiful designs. So I'm going to laminate these because they're not laminated at this point and I'm going to start doing weekly tarots on here so you can watch weekly tarots and they've all got dead meanings on the back. So I'm going to start doing a tarot every week using these cards to give us hope, love, peace, sincerity, gratitude, compassion. And then hopefully all these trolls run away because they cannot stay in like, if our energy's up here, they can't attach, right? Trolls won't like it. They'll run away. They don't want to see what we do for good, okay? So why did I just show you those? Because sometimes it is good to send someone a present. You know, one thing that I love doing, I get greeting cards and I'll send them to my friends so they come home and there's a greeting card in their letterbox. Instead of a bill. <laughs> I love it. Okay? I love it. I actually bought all the um, firemen. You know, every year the firemen come out with a calendar. So they had uh, like a 10-pack of greeting cards. So I just send them randomly to my friends. So they ring me up and they say, Oh, Linda, you just sent me this really hunky-looking fireman. 
holding a little kitty cat. <laughs> you know? How great do they feel when they open it and it's not a bill? So it's all these little acts of kindness. Now, we don't have to show generosity through financial means. Waving at a stranger, smiling, picking up someone's rubbish, looking out for your neighbours, asking someone, are you okay? Do you need any help? I'm here if you need me. All those simple words don't cost a thing to create this abundance of beautiful emotion within us that's then mirrored out of us and it builds up our vibration. So when trolls attack us, the only person the troll is truly attacking is the troll. Don't allow others, other people's opinions diminish your own self-worth. Don't listen to what trolls say because at the end of the day they're in a world of hurt. They're angry. They feel that they deserve something. They feel privileged. They probably lost their job of 30 years and didn't even get a pen. You know, I worked with Queensland Police for 10 years. Here's my envelope from Queensland Police Service. You know, I've got my letters of recommendation in there. I also got my medals because I got medals with them. That's the small... Whoops, I opened it up the wrong way then. Whoops, don't break it. You know, there's my little medal and it had a bigger one in there. But I, I wear that all the time so it's in on my clothing. You know, so sometimes we do get a reward for accomplishments, for doing a good job. But most times we don't. And the beauty here is not to expect it. Don't expect people to be kind. But when they are kind, return that energy. Now, I will go there because I've got my envelope out. This troll that I had, they actually said to me they, they don't even believe I worked with the police. So I'm going to show you something. Here's a little insight in Linda. <coughs> There's my badge. Queensland Police logo. I used to wear it on my shirt when I was at work. Ten years I was with the police. There's my badge. Okay. So, proof. Do I need to justify who I am to others? That guy, my troll last week, he actually said he's going to ring Queensland Police and put in a complaint because I never worked for them. Good luck. Who is going to be exposed here? Who's the real fake? Who's the real phony? And most of all, who is the real false person? Who is that fraud? It's the troll that does that. So allow them, guys, to be who they are. Acknowledge them for who they are. And it's our own free will if we associate with them or not. Because we don't have to. Start spreading that love generosity and kindness to others without expectations. You know, when you go into a coffee shop, instead of buying one coffee, buy the, another coffee and just say, look, I don't want to be here when the guy gets his free coffee. Just give it to him so I'm gone. Don't just buy it for the next person because then you're sitting there thinking, oh, I bought your coffee. Don't do it for your own personal gain because the only way heaven works the only way true love works is when we do not consider ourselves. We are selfless and we consider the opinions of others to make them better. Trolls only diminish us. They only attack us. They only abuse us and character assassinate us because they are hurting. And as my friend Sue said three years ago, don't let other people's own crap that they are not dealing with dim your light. Don't allow it. Don't ever allow someone else's opinion 
matter to what you do. So trolls, they're going to exist everywhere. Don't let them make you judge yourself. For when we're spiritual, when we're enlightened, we don't judge anyone, especially ourselves. Hope you're all feeling the love today, guys. Go out there and share it. Go out and spread it. Go out there and do some random act of kindness because the world desperately needs it right now. And all these little trolls are going to quiver under their rock and disappear because like attracts like. And the more we put out goodness, the less chance of their own survival. They have to either change or disappear into that void. And that's ultimately how energy works, isn't it? Because everything is energy, okay? Everything is energy. Trolls will expose themselves. Loving, kind, respectful, loving people will also expose themselves. And I don't want to boast, but why do you think I get parcels in the mail from total strangers because what we put out comes back. What we think about is created. The more we think of our intentions to others, the more we create that within ourselves. So who do you want to be is the question. So, <clears throat> I am going to connect with my new cards. And tomorrow, I'll start my weekly tarot for the whole planet. Return the love. Emit that love out of you. Be heaven on earth. Because those negative energies have no place in heaven. Catch us next time. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.